All right, so here we are, episode one. So for this one, I figured that we'd make a Harry Potter wand. This one's going to be for one of my friends that I met back in college. So I had him go on Pottermore, and his specifications came out to being made of silver lime wood or basswood, but I'm not going to do that. I want to make it out of curly maple because I don't really trust basswood to not break. And he said he wanted it to be durable. He also came out with one that was a dragon heartstring core. Don't really know how we're going to go about doing that, but oh well going to be 11 and 3 quarter inches long and slightly yielding. So, the actual design we came up for it, which we sat him down and we talked about it for like an hour, and this was the final design we came out with. It's going to be blue, that was one thing he really wanted, and it's going to be wrapped with gold wire, and that wire is going to be made to look like it's bringing in the wood, so it'll look like it's kind of like a cushioned effect is how I was describing it to him. And he was very adamant that he wanted it topped with a crystal. So we're going to figure out how to go about that too. Let's get started. Alright, so I've got this piece of curly maple set up on my small lathe. i got my little reference picture up there. And the basic plan is I'm going to smooth this down into a nice cylinder. And then once that happens, I'm going to start looking at my reference and just kind of carve away at it until it looks the way it's supposed to. Hopefully it turns out right. Alright, so I'm not a wood turner by any stretch of the imagination, but I have it into a pretty decent wand shape. It's got this nice handle section that feels okay in the hand. What I have to do now is I have to focus on this tapering section, and I'm not good enough to do that with the normal tools, so I'm going to cheat. I have this Lee Nielsen tooth uh, plan iron, and that's going to allow me to just like take a bunch of chisels, all nice and straight, and just go in and get that nice clean taper that I'm looking for. Alright, so here we are, day two. So my next step is going to have to be to lay in the spiral where I'm going to put the wire. There's a couple of different ways I could go about this. I could go over to my belt sander right there and just kind of, on the edge of the belt, just kind of twirl in the spiral, except I don't know if I trust myself to do that, so I may just end up doing it all by file, by hand, but I don't want to do that. So, we'll see. At any rate, I have to lay in my spiral, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little ruler, mark all the way down this side, all the way down the other side, make sure the spiral hits each, every other one, and then do that on the other side too. So I have a nice even double spiral going out the end. And then it's going to end in some like windy bits, and yeah, windy bits, I'm going to go with that.
so finally done with all the sanding of the spirals. Took a long time, but so happy with how it turned out. Definitely worth it. Next, make it blue, wrap it in wire, and put the crystal on. Welcome to my room. So this is where I tend to do a lot of my non-dusty work simply because I can watch YouTube and that makes the whole process go by a lot faster. At least, it seems like it does. Anyway, last time you had seen the wand, I had cut off the end and was starting to drill a hole down the center of the handle for the dragon heart string core to go in. So what we're going to do for that is my friend and I are both in the Beta Theta Pi fraternity, whose mascot happens to be the dragon. So I had some friends from there all write him some heartfelt notes, and we're going to put those inside as the dragon heart string core. However, the hole I drilled kind of caused a problem for the wire wrap because I drilled straight through my wire anchor points. So what I had to do to fix that is go inside the big hole, drill two more offshooting holes, put the wire in there, have the wire come out the big hole, and then begin the wrap. So the actual wrap itself, pretty simple, just make sure it's nice and tight. At the end, drill two more holes, and then once again, make sure it's nice and tight, put the wire through those holes, tension holds it all together. The end cap, I drilled a hole in that, put a dowel that corresponded to the hole I drilled in the handle, and it kind of just goes back on as a cork holding the letter in the bottom. So, last thing I have to do now is put the crystal tip on the top. Let's do that. Alright, so I'm at the workshop shop and they have so many cool things here. I think what we might end up getting for the wand tip, maybe this piece of aqua aura quartz. I don't uh stupid light. Here's the little secret compartment we got there. Little wrap, I didn't really show how I did that, but... Alright, so that concludes my very first episode of... I don't know what I'm going to call this yet. <laughs> oh well. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and... It if you did, maybe give it a like, and if you really did, like, a subscribe or a share or something. I know it's kind of early in this whole deal, but I'd really appreciate it. And I also really appreciate you guys actually watching through to the end. Thank you so much.